All right, y'all, look. Sometimes you can't do nothing about Mother Nature, all right? I don't care how much you try. I don't care how much you try to fight it, plan for it. Mother Nature don't play. Okay, so look. All down here, all in the parking area, all these is all trucks parked because it's white stuff called snow. It's, it's terrible. I mean, they ain't even gonna lie, man. I'm gonna show y'all. It's terrible, man. It's, it's real bad. I mean, no matter how much it get covered up, it come back, it come back even worse. Right? Um, and you know, it's, it, it's, I gotta say, man, this is, this is probably the worst. I've seen it. I, I've seen it a few times already, but this is probably the worst. Not to mention, I got 43,000 pounds on me. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm down here in Spokane, and man, when they said, the weather was supposed to be bad they ain't lying I just wanted to show y'all a picture of this stuff and then I'll uh, I'll be back in a little bit um, to let y'all know uh, what I was dealing with for the majority of the day and uh, how the day how the day went what was wasted and what I uh, plan on doing. Alright y'all, I'll be back in a little bit. What's going on y'all? Hey, finding out new ways to uh, submit to make recordings. Hey, but I wanted to make a quick video. I did one earlier and I was um, talking about my trip and what happened when I left uh, Spokane, Washington and the storm. <clears throat> um, I did one earlier but it was outside and it was kind of windy so I wanted to redo it. So, um, so I'll do it now. <clears throat> so what happened was I woke up that morning and, um, turn the camera a little bit. Woke up, woke up that morning early. Um, and I said, let me go in and get straightened up so I can get ready to prep myself so I can get ready to roll out of here. Um, probably about 5.45, it starts snowing again. I was like, oh snap, here we go again. So I was like, let me hurry up. So I went inside, you know, straightened up, got some coffee, came back out. It's, it was start, it was snowing thicker, and the snow flurries was thick. They were big. So I was like, oh, man. I know it sounds crazy, but I was like, let me do my pre-trip because I want to make sure everything is cool, and I don't want to stop later on because I don't know how acceptable the conditions would be um, along my journey. So I was like, let me just go do a quick pre-trip, make sure everything is good. So I did. So I walked around the back of the truck. I'm walking around the truck. I'm looking. So now, then it finally hit me. I don't see my footprints from last night. <laughs> they were gone. They were, I mean, totally gone. It was totally gone. Nothing left. So I was like, okay, it snowed last night. And it snowed a lot. So I was like, oh, yeah, man, it's time to go, man. And then it was deeper than before. So I was like, oh, yeah, it's time to roll. I got to get out of here. So I started leaving, and it, I mean, it, it kept snowing, it kept snowing. So I was like, let me get on out here. So I hit uh, I-90 West, and, um, but before I left, I looked online, and the line was like, okay, I-90 West, icy, slushy, slippery, highly unsafe, or whatever. So I was like, I'll just take my time, I got to get out of here. <clears throat> so I looked farther down, going from Washington into um, Idaho, into Oregon, and it said moderate, then it said low. I was like, oh, cool. US 95 was low. They they said roads was clean. I was like, yeah, let me get going. But the journey getting out of there, out of Washington, was crazy. Um, and it was, I mean, it was bad, man. It was really bad. So I, I got out, got to, um, I think I made it. I think I made it as far as um, the pilot in um, Ontario, Oregon. That was my fuel spot. So I um, fueled there, got back on the road, kept going. 
and I shut down at um, this little uh, casino looking thing that had, you know, park, truck parking on the side. So I shut down there <clears throat> in, uh, in Oregon because as I kept going, it just kept getting clearer and clearer and clearer. And I was like, man, I'm glad, man, you just don't know. I'm, I'm so glad to be out of there. So right now, um, my first stop, I took my break over in Fallon, Nevada. I shut down there, took my 30, and now I'm over here in, um, at a little small truck stop off US 395. I'm about 160 miles away from my, uh, from my uh, cosignee, and I'll deliver there um, in the morning, 0800, as stated, as promised, as stated in the pre-plan. So with all that junk going on, I was still, and I am going to still be able to make an all-time delivery. And when I look at my pre-plan, I look at it and I'd be like, okay, I can pick it up this time and I can do it. Then I look at my um, my uh, my drop-off time and I look at it for a minute, man. I'd be, I'd, I'd be trying to weigh in some options before I even give my DM a okay that I'll take it. You know, it ain't just because they send it to us don't mean that we can take it. It means like, let me look at it first and let me see if it's something that I can, that I can really handle, something I can do. So everything is good. Everything is rolling. And I know I say that a lot, like everything is good, but, but it is, you know, everything is good. And, um, you know, I'm going to make my drop tomorrow. I got six hours and 36 minutes left on my 70. So I'm looking hopefully, um, by tomorrow night, hopefully get back about 10 hours back. Um, on my 70 because I'm going to need it. So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to make this little quick update. Um, the last video just was just was loud uh, from the wind. I may still post it, but we'll see. All right. Take care. Be safe. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. What's happening, y'all? Oh, man. This was crazy, man. Hey, so I got to my uh, final stop. Um, bring the load from um, Spokane, Washington. And um, I'm here. And uh, you would think that someone who have all these um, big paper rolls would have a place where, um, where they can at least offload them easily no not the case not the case again and now on top of that it's raining man and it turned it was a blind side and so let me show y'all what i was dealing with um today i mean i'm bringing this big load all the way from spokane and you would think that it would come to a place where it's huge mm -mm. okay the entryway came down there came from there and it came all the way up through this little short street right here and to to here um, to that pole there so our um, so our entryway was here and as I did what I did was I had to um, to blindside into this parking space right here to bring the truck in um, um, but it was another crazy backing. So the backing did like right here. It went through here and it went up through this spot right here to bring the truck into this small space right here. So I don't know. Um, it was it was it was challenging. I can smell my brakes because I was off and on my brakes. I didn't tear anything up, but I can see that my um, my landing gear is actually sitting on the ground right there, and it's pulled all the way up but it's, it's it's scrubbing on the ground right there so i i couldn't come back anymore if i wanted to and definitely i don't want to rip off my landing gear so um here i am right here uh, this is something that I'm, I'm probably gonna have to say something to the company about because this is crazy all right but uh this is just some of the stuff man you have to deal with when you come unchain out. my heart unchain my heart baby let me go Unchain my heart, Unchain my heart. Cause you don't love me